Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do a, a diabetic foot assessment on yourself. Before we go any further, could you please confirm your name and date of birth? Atavis Alvi, 4th of January 2000. Super. So in terms of doing this examination, it's going to involve you walking up and down so we have a look at your gait. I'm going to be pressing around your feet and then also uh, applying a, a monofilament and a tuning fork to your feet to make sure that you have good sensation. So before we go on, uh, are you happy to proceed to this? Yep. Fantastic. So um, I'm just going to have a, a, a quick look at your gait. So if you could get up, please walk at least five paces, turn and come back. Super. So I can't see any problems with uh, your gait. That's grand. So if you could lie back on the bed, I'm going to have a good look at your feet. So having a look high up, um, so you've got normal hair on the legs, I can't see any uh, evidence of hair loss. On the top there's no obvious scars, nor can I see any underneath. Um, there's no uh, evidence of a deformity to either foot, and I can't see any evidence that suggests you might have previous fractures. There's obviously no an uh, amputations. Looking around the legs, there's no signs of um, ulcers at all, that being venous or arterial. On the bottom of the feet, there's no evidence of calluses, and I can't see any other problems with the soles of the feet, and there's no um, bruising, injuries, anything like that to the toes. So that looks fantastic. I'm going to start off just by putting my hands on your legs. So there's the dorsalis pedis, which is fantastic, and then coming up behind, doing the posterior tibial. So we've got no issues there, that's fine. So just having a look over, so just having a look over the legs, I can see we've got normal hair, we've not got any loss of hair, I can't see any evidence of amputations, there's no uh, ulcers, uh, both venous and arterial, I can't see any evidence of previous fractures, there's no discoloration to either um, leg or foot. Looking at the base of the foot, there's no evidence of calluses, uh, nor can I see any contusions uh, or to the uh, toes. Um, they seem to have normal uh, coloration. There's no uh, scars at all, uh, nor can I see any evidence of cyanosis, so bluing to the toes or any gangrene. So everything looks normal here. And there's no evidence of any deformities, such as we might see with Charcot foot, as we might see with a Charcot foot. King the temperature. So your temperature is normal on your feet, all the way down. Now I'm going to have a look at the capillary refill. So you're just going to squeeze on your toe and on the opposite side. So we've got completely normal capillary refill on both sides, so we've got no issues there. Um, I'm going to have a look at the, uh, the pulses. So pressing over the uh, dorsalis pedis. So we've got no problems there. And then moving around to the posterior tibial. Again, we've got good pulses coming through uh, uh, evenly on both sides. So let's have a look and see um, how we are with uh, sensation. So this is a monofilament, so it's a little piece of plastic that bends when we put force through it, that's not going to do any harm. I'm just going to touch your chest if you don't mind. So you can feel me touching you there? Mm -hmm. Great. So I'm going to do the same on uh, your feet. When I do so, I need you to keep your eyes closed and please say yes when we feel me touch you. Okay. So if you close your eyes, please. Fantastic. So there's no problems with the uh, sensation there. Now I'm going to have a look at vibration. So this is a tuning fork. If I strike it, it'll vibrate. And if I put it on your chest, you can feel the vibration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me when it stops. Stop. Great. So we're going to do the same thing on uh, your toes. So I'm going to strike the tuning fork. I'll apply the vibration. You should feel it. Now I'm going to get you to close your eyes and I need you to tell me when the vibration stops. Okay. So if you close your eyes for me. So you can feel the vibration. Mm -hmm. okay, tell me when the vibration stops. Stop. Superb. We'll do the same on the opposite side. You can feel the vibration. Okay, please close your eyes. Tell me when it stops. Stop. Fantastic. So we've got normal vibration sense, so I've got no concerns there about that. Now I'm going to have a look at um, 
what's called proprioception, your ability to determine where your body is. So I'm just going to hold on to your big toe, okay, and I'm going to move it up or down. Okay, so I'll waggle it forwards. That will be up, and this will be down. Okay. okay, so I want you to close your eyes, and if you tell me which way your foot is pointing. Okay, so if you close your eyes now, mm -hmm. and tell me which way your toe is pointing. Super. And we're going to do the same again on the side. So again, if you open your eyes, please. Mm -hmm. So you can see the toes up, mm -hmm. and then can you feel the toes down? Okay. So if you close your eyes. Up. Down. Up. Down. Down. Up. Fantastic. So you've got normal proprioception there. So that is very good. Okay, so um, everything seems to be normal so far. Now I'm just going to have a look at your reflexes. So I'm just going to roll your leg in and out. I'm just going to squeeze the calf. So we've got good movement there. I'm just going to strike the ankle. Okay, so we've got good reflex there. And relax for me. We'll do the same again over this side. So leg up. Good, so we've got movement at the ankle. Relax for me. Good, so we've got a reasonable reflex on both sides. Um, I'd like to double check that by just getting you to uh, kneel on one of the uh, chairs for me. So if you just come over here. So if you could kneel with one foot onto the chair for me. Brilliant. I'm just going to squeeze your calf and we've got good movement at the, uh, the ankle. So I'm just going to put some force there. Just try and relax for me. Loose and floppy. Excellent. So we've got good reflexes there. And if you could swap legs for me. I'm going to do the same again, I'm just going to squeeze the calf so you can see the foot moving. I'm going to put a little bit of force there and relax. Excellent. So we've got a fantastic reflex there. Thank you. Let's head back over here. So the final thing I need you to do is just have a quick look at the base of your shoes. I can't see any abnormal wear patterns. And on the opposite side, I can't see any obvious deformities. Looking over the shoes themselves, I can't see any obvious strains, any wear on the outside that might suggest that the shoes weren't fitting you. Um, and we've seen you've got good sensation, so it's highly unlikely we'd end up in that situation. So. Um, that completes our examination for the time being. Uh, we'd also like to uh, check fendoscopy, so have a look in your eyes. I'd also like to do a uh, peripheral vascular disease assessment and also check your blood sugars, uh, finger prick blood sugar, whilst you're here. Do you have any other questions for myself? No. Super. Well, I'll let you put your dre get dressed and thank you very much. Thank you.